Hey guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait a second and see if anybody hops on. I have some notes. I'll wait a couple minutes and see if anybody hops on. Hey, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I really felt like this is something I needed to go over, um, especially with some concerns that have popped up in my messenger chat last night. And I really want to re-go over everything that has to do with PRV, um, partying, and just different ways to get PRV because, you know, some of us struggle from time to time. I struggle from time to time. And I wanted to help give you guys some ideas of what you can do to bring in the PRV, to bring in the sales, to get your name out there. Um, anyways, um, the first things first, um, I want to go over, and I'm going to have this recorded so you guys can go back and watch it if by some reason you have to hop off. And I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel so that way we can refer back to it because I'm going to be going over all the things, all the things that I've struggled with, all the things that I've done to help improve myself. Um, first things first though, what is PRV? A lot of you guys are new. We sponsored over 50 people last month. There's a lot of new faces. So this is a very good training to go over because some of you guys had your launch parties, you guys took off running and now you're stuck with, okay, now what? So that is simple. That is simple because you, I don't want anybody to be discouraged because there's so many things that you can do. PRV, it's personal retail volume. That is our sales. So $1 equals one PRV. Um, I'm about this time, everybody really should know that. Um, I do want to talk, the first thing I want to mention is our why. Those of you who are struggling, those of you that you're not sure if this is for you, I want you guys to to reach deep down and figure out why is it that you click that join button? Why is it that you guys decided to, to join this journey? Because that's gonna be the biggest key on your success and your why will keep changing. I know I've talked about that lots of times, but that's gonna be your reasoning and your um, maybe helping you set your goal. Um, I also wanted to mention that um, it is, um, whenever you figure out your why, that's when you're going to start putting into place all the things that come to follow. Um, how many parties you want to have, how many, um, if you want to go bigger and do events and do those things. If you want to make a car payment, you want to make enough to do your nails. That is all going to come into play with your why. If you're here as a hobby, that is fantastic because you know what? I joined that when I joined Sensi, that's exactly why I joined was for a hobbyist. I never dreamed in a million years that I would be where I am today, that I would have a team of 140 girls, and that you guys were following me on this journey because it's been phenomenal. And I never dreamed that. I honestly, when I joined Sensi, I just wanted free Sensi. That's it. I needed something to keep myself occupied. And next thing you know, I'm here, I'm a director, and Many of you guys are following me right behind, like falling right behind me. But once you figure out your why and you figure out how much money you want to make, maybe you just want to go get your nails done. That is what's going to help you come up with your action plan, your action plan on how much money that you want to make from this company and you're going to go forward. So if you wanted to get your nails done, you just need a, about a hundred bucks a month, then you need to sit and think about, okay, well, how can I make that happen? Come up with a plan. You can't just accidentally do these things. You're going to have to front load your calendar and you're going to have to figure out, okay, I need these many parties or I need to sell this a much. You need to figure that out. Once you figure out what your why is and how much money that you want to make, then that's when you're going to make and you're going to create your action plan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dig into all the things. So that way we know, um, give you guys some ideas. The first thing that is is the obvious is that the first thing to do that gets you PRV is your scent and your warmer of the month. You guys already jumped on that last month. Of course, we got the summer, uh, welcome summer scent, and we got the summer warmer with the stars on it. 
That is the easiest way for you to gain PRV. And it's not by the obvious of because you signed up for it, so you got that 70 PRV or you got your 35 PRV or whatever it was. But that is so income producing for you guys because you're getting nine bars. You're getting nine bars of the scent that's getting ready to come out and you're gonna be able to front load your calendar. Um, with that, you're going to be able to make uh, samples. You guys are going to be able to have that warmer on hand to show in your stories or to show it in person. There's that is such a big income producing um, kit that we can get is that scent and warmer of the month. So it's very important that you guys get that if you can. It is a tax write off, and having that on hand is so much different than showing flyers on Facebook. Um, another thing is, um, another way that to get PRV is having home parties. I know right now we are, um, in a weird state with the world and we're not doing a lot of home parties. You know what? I've never done a home party, but that I do things like a home party. So when I say that is that connection that you make with people when you have home parties people who have home parties sell a ton because you are building connections you're having interactions with other people you're able to show things in person you're able to um yeah it really does china you're exactly right the warmer of the month does pay for itself literally if you get that scent and you make some samples with a, a bar or two you can turn around and sell your other stuff that you have, you can give it away as um, thank you gifts. It really, really, really pays for itself. Um, but your home parties, guys, um, you're going to meet new people. You are going to um, likely, because you're, it's so much fun, people are gonna wanna join you on your journey because you're making those connections. And when I say home parties, it doesn't necessarily have to be a home party. You can create some type of get together. You guys can meet up at a Dunkin' Donuts. You can have a sip and sniff somewhere. It's all the same principle because you're still getting people together or one-on-one. -on -one. People are more likely to buy from you when you have that face-to-face -face interaction. This is where I thrive. This is where I personally, not from home parties, from but from meeting up to people I carry my testers everywhere when I go to work I have them in my work bag I sometimes I'll take my oils with me um, when I go to a neighbor's house or I'm going to a get-together I take my samples with me I wait for a perfect opportunity to pull them out but it is so important that you are ready because you never know when someone is just going to um, be like, hey, about that Sensi, do you have a catalog? You want to always be ready. And I can't stress to you how important that is because I don't know how many times I've been at work or somewhere and someone said, hey, you wouldn't happen to have the new scent of the month. I've been wanting to smell it. Soon as you pull that out of your bag, you're going to have other people around you who are interested or who see it. Um, Always, always, always be ready. Always have a catalog on you. Always have samples on you. Always be ready with your card because you never know when you have an opportunity and someone starts recognizing you as the crazy wax lady and you're going to be ready for them. Um, so face-to-face -face con contact, home parties, all those types of things, sip and sniffs, taking them to work with you is probably the most beneficial way to get PRV, I, I promise you. Um, next thing, um, I have written down our home or our online parties, guys. I know you guys, I really shouldn't have to touch base on online parties, but what's really important that I wanted to go over with you is that you can't, and I took the time last night and this morning, and I've been looking at people's profiles. I just want to stress to you that you can't post on your Facebook saying who would like to have a party and expect people to come to you because that's not going to happen. It, you will not gain parties that way. Um, I know I post, but I'm when I make a post on Facebook, that is merely just my way of planting a seed because I want people to know that I'm available four parties. That does not mean I'm going, if I make a post, I have um, 50 people flocking to me. That is not how it happens. Once you start planting those seeds, then you can water them. Okay. And that's basically what I'm doing. So then I go back to my Frank list. 
okay? I go back to my Frank list. These are all the people who I know, people who I feel like would be interested. I know I've showed this before. This is people who I have joined conversations with. I'm gonna go back to my list and I'm gonna look here, okay. Um, let me go ahead and reach out to these people. It's been a while since maybe they've hosted a party and I'm gonna see if they would like to do another party. Um, you're gonna get no's. If I had a dollar for every time that I was told no, I would be in good shape. But for every 10 no's, you're gonna get a yes. The more people you ask, you will get yeses, and I promise you that. It is uncomfortable, I know. Um, I don't like reaching out to people, but I usually try to bring it up in a normal conversation. For example, I had this happen right before I got went on live with you, and that's why I was a couple of minutes late, but I had someone who I sent a goodie package to for her order. She ordered from me, she was referred to me by someone, um, she was visiting because I saw that she had Sensi, and not only did I send a thank you to the person who sent her my way, but I sent her a thank you package. And in these thank you packages, it does not have to be fancy. It could be, this is usually what I send, a little thank you card saying thank you so much, okay? I will sometimes put, I'll, well definitely send with her, I will put my card in there wherever that's at. I will put my card in there. If I have samples, I will throw a sample in there. Right now it's getting hot, so we are going to be doing felt samples, which I have a bag of right here, okay? And I usually will put a scent circle, or if it was a huge order, I'll throw in a car bar. And that's it, okay? It is so easy for you to reach out to your customers and let them feel appreciated. When you make them feel like a value customer, they will be back. So, the whole reason why I'm telling you this is because this girl who ordered last month from me, she um, happened to be visiting someone, she saw their Sensi, she was referred to me, um, she reached out to me and said she got her package and she was thanking me and she was so excited. But in that package, I actually sent a oil sample. I, didn't, I don't know if she has a diffuser, but I took a chance. And she wrote me saying, hey, thank you so much. She couldn't believe that I had sent her this package and she is going to be ordering again. She's taking a look at my website right now. And she said that she would like to get a diffuser. So again, this, this, you know, red lights, I'm like, okay, this is amazing. So let me tell her if she gets on there, I made sure I told her, I said, well, our diffusers are amazing. They are lifetime warranty. They are, they have all the bells and whistles. And I told her if it seems like maybe they're outside of her price range, then maybe if she's interested, there's always other ways that we can get her one for either free, half price or discounted. And that's by hosting a party. I did mention to her, I'm not trying to attack her with hosting a party, but I also wanted her to know that there was a way that we can get it in hand in case she felt like those diffusers were too expensive. So there's always ways, just like that situation, to slide in hosting a party. And I never would have just messaged her and said, hey guys, how are you? Those of you hopping on. Um, I never would have just messaged her right away and be like, hey, we wanna host a party, but I waited for the opportunity. That's why it's so important for you guys to be talking to people, to be sending out thank you packages, um, because it creates opportunity. Um, another thing that I wanted to um, show you, or, since we're on the whole thank you thing anyways, is these little cards that we get in our packages. I literally save these if you're trying to be inexpensive, you can write yourself a little note on here to your customer and send them a thank you with that. You don't have to spend money on all these extra things. You can literally reuse things that were given to you by Sensi. So that's an idea that you can do um, samples, but you gotta make sure you are sending them thank yous whenever you are getting orders. You make them feel valued, they will come back and they will bring their friends. Um, whenever I was working on earning my trip to Amsterdam, I literally sent out everybody. I made little cards. I sent out these thank yous, letting them feel valued. I sent them, you can buy samples here in the Sensi store. You can make them yourselves. Literally, it's okay. Like your whiff boxes, save these. Don't, I literally hoard these things and I will send these to my customers because that's like two or three bars or cubes of wax right in that little cup right there. Um, 
Another thing that you can do is, um, let's see, another thing that I'll slide in packages sometimes, this one's an older one because obviously it's from Christmas, but it, sa it says ho, ho, ho. It says host a qualifying party and you can earn a free mini warmer on me. These are other little things that you can slide in your packages um, to get the word out that maybe they don't want to, but maybe they'll know someone who does. And I've had people who literally refer people to me because they want that free warmer. And all I do is that perpetual reward, that extra half off that we get, that is there for us to use in our benefit to get... So I will pay $10 and give them a free mini warmer as long as they have a qualifying party. But anyways, I'm getting off track. So... Um, so online parties, I know that it's a very, um, I know that that is a very uncomfortable subject and we all don't like to ask people, but I promise you, if you sit and you look through your friends list on Facebook and you're scrolling and you're literally looking for people, pick out maybe your high school friends, strike up a conversation. Don't start it with, Hey, will you host a party for me? But strike up a conversation, get to know them, make that connection, talk about high school, talk about, um, things. And then when they ask you, wait for the opportunity to be like, yeah, man, Cincy has been off the chain. Then you're able to slide that in there and then they can, you know, you'll be able to slide in. Well, Hey, would you, have you ever thought about hosting a party? Getting people to host a party is not easy. I totally get it. I I'm there every month because I'm just like you. I have to start all over each month, but, um, but hosting parties definitely is the way to go because that is where, regardless if you do online, you're doing basket, you're doing whatever kind of party you're doing, you are actually gaining orders from people who are outside your circle. And that is the most important thing in your business is trying to get outside of your circle. Um, events. Events are another thing that I usually do, but since this pandemic has happened, obviously we're not able to be doing the events. I usually do the Irish festival that's already missed. Um, I will in the fall, as long as everything is okay. I do a, a hippie fest. I do um, October fest. Right now is the time to start looking for events in the fall. Um, there's so many, um, depending on your location, I, I'm not sure if some of the smaller towns may not have them, but events are the way to go to. I have gained recruits from it. I have gained loyal customers from it. Events are hands down next to home parties the best way to go because you're able to make an impression with a customer. You're able to create a connection with them and they will be back. I literally, right before all this stuff started happening, I had someone call me and she, um, for the Irish festival, she asked me, I, honestly, I thought when I first answered it was a scam. I thought that um, she was, I don't know. I, I get very um, defensive when I get random phone calls from people I don't know, but she asked me if I was gonna be at the Irish festival and I was like, well, I'm not sure. And honestly, at that time with everything happening, I wasn't sure what was going on. But she told me that she drives an hour to purposefully to go to that event so she can see my table because I have tons of stuff for her to see and that she enjoys my company and that she wanted to make sure I was there or she wasn't going to bother making the trip to go there. So that was the that was when I had that wow moment that wow people are starting to recognize me people are remembering me and my generosity with them because I'm making those connections. And I just feel like it's very important to tell you these things because that's where my PRV is coming from because I am making those lasting impressions on these people. Um, so events, and the best way to find them, they do not have to cost a lot of money, but you need to do your research on them because you don't want some that are going to waste your time and they're going to waste your money. I have, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to say that, you know, every event that I've done has been phenomenal. I've walked away doing uh, jumping jacks or whatever you want to say. I've actually had flops. I have literally paid for a three-day event where I didn't sell one thing. It happens and it stinks. And, but there's always something, you always have to look at the positive in it. I, there was always something that could, that came from that that was good either it was somebody walking by I had a conversation maybe it was the booth next to me I made a, a loyal um, contact with them 
but do your research make sure it's one that's a good one make sure it it draws a lot of foot traffic make sure you um do your research with it because when you have ones that are just starting no one really knows about that certain one those are the ones that have flopped for me i make sure i go with one that's been around for a couple years so i know that people know about it and people are going to um, show up but how i find them is by google Google, looking in your Facebook tabs, um, asking around for events, um, fi just finding an opportunity to um, to do one. I've actually thought about, uh, we've created one, like a, a community yard sale type thing of, with, with crafts and stuff. So it doesn't have to be an official event. You just have to find a way, an opportunity to create something that will draw people. Um... The perpetual reward was on my list, but I really, I just went over that with you. Basically, that is a very good incentive for us that we can use to draw parties in. So one thing that I do when I have my party is I usually will post on, um, at the end of the party, I'll be like, hey, you know, anybody willing, wanting to uh, commit to a party at a later date, maybe in the next month or two, whatever it is that you wanna say, will earn themselves a half off item. Not only do you earn yourself a half off, but you're earning your hostess that you're booking from a half off too. So basically in that party, I have a half off perpetual reward. I'm giving that to the hostess, okay? And then the way I get my other one is by whenever that other person hosts hers and she gets to a qualifying party, there's a perpetual reward in there. I write it down that I owe her a half off item and then I can give her her half off item. My goal when I have a party is to book a party from a party. I will tell you it is tricky, but when you get an excited hostess and she's really working her business, we're not working her business, working her party, party she's going to want that extra half off and she's going to help she's going to spread the word you want to make it fun you want to make them want to have a party from you again so perpetual rewards can be very beneficial to you um you can use it for a booking blitz um, i know tabitha had just mentioned that in the group chat a booking blitz you can do that too you can offer that perpetual ward any way you want. If you want to say, hey, in a private message, of course, this is something that has to be done in private. You can't publicly announce this. But if you reach out to someone and say, hey, I, I can get you a six-pack bar for half price if, you're, if you have a qualifying party. So there's different ways to use that perpetual reward. It's a really fun idea. You can offer it to your hostess. If you end up having striking out and you don't get a book, um, you don't book a party from it or anything, then give it to your hostess. Th give it to your hostess and let them know that you are so grateful for them, they had such a great party, and that you're gifting them an extra half off item. They don't need to know that it was a perpetual reward and you already had it there. Just make them feel like you are thanking them. Um, referrals, guys. Uh, you get referrals when you give excellent customer service. I promise you, when you make your customers feel valued, they will bring people back to you. When you get an online order, um, where's my book? I'm gonna go ahead and dip into something else right now. Um, I keep track of all of my orders. So when someone places an order with me, I write it down. And I also send thank yous. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. So everybody who places an order with me, I'm gonna write it down. I'm keeping track of basically what kind of order was, was, was it within a party? Um, did I send out a thank you? I have a check mark for that. And if I sent out thank you mail, I have another check for that. And I have the date, so I write down what it is. I also have a place here for their favorite products. If I notice that they ordered a lot of Mystery Man, I know that's the type of scent that they like. So if I'm sending them a thank you mail, I'm going to write on here. Or I'm going to make sure it's something different because my whole goal is to get different products in their hands. Um, I also like to know if they're new. Are they a new customer? If you notice here, I had a lot of new customers because I had a party. Guys, this is why it's so important to find ways to party because if you notice here, these are all brand new. And then my VIPs I have here, I like to know who's my regular customers and I like to know how I'm gonna spoil them. Um, 
Baby Yodas. This is another thing that I have here. I'm gonna treat those differently. These are all of my pre-orders that I had online for Baby Yoda. I, the reason why I made a separate sheet for that because I'm gonna send them a thank you. I want them to know how much I appreciate them so that way they'll continue ordering with me. So I got on Amazon for three, four bucks, I got 50 stickers. I am going to write a thank you note. You saw my card, I'm gonna have thank you notes there. I'm gonna put in two stickers in here and I also have just cute little cheap little Star Wars bracelets. That's it, it doesn't take much to let them know how appreciative you are of them. These are just little gifts from me. I'm super thankful that they decided to let me be their um, consultant. But keep track, guys. This is something that I started doing faithfully. Keep track of all of your orders because I promise you that it'll come back and it's gonna benefit you in the end. You need to know who you're sending thank yous to. You need to know what you're sending them. Um, how often because you don't want to keep sending stuff to the same people and they're not ordering then you're, you're gonna stop it's a nice little tool to use to keep track if you need that form it is on the guide to growth if you guys went through the training you guys know all about that and it's such a good program if you guys have not watched it take the time to watch it because that is where how you're gonna stay organized and that's gonna help you in that in this business and those of you who have done that have already said they've promoted they've double promoted they've triple promoted in the same month because they did that program but referrals make sure you guys are letting your customers know that you value them because if you treat your customers excellent if you treat them well they will be back they will bring their friends they will bring their family with you okay Basket parties. Basket parties is sort of how I, I kind of categorize that with home parties because basket parties or, or bag parties, I don't know if you guys are watching YouTube videos, you, basket parties, I did not bring one of these out for you, but testers, you put testers in there, you put your books in there, have some random items like I'll toss in maybe a fragrance spray, uh, maybe I'll toss in a, a cream for them to try. This is a bag that you're loaning someone, giving them some order forms, you're letting them collect orders. This is a very good way to get parties. I loan out my testers, I give them to them, I let them keep it for a week, they'll return it to me with, with information and orders. Um, also, um, you are getting new contacts. This is just as good as having an online party and having a Facebook party. You are still getting new orders. This is going to help you open up your inner circle. So basket parties is a very good way to go. Um, make sure they look professional. Make sure that whenever you are giving something to someone that you look at it and you think, okay, well, if someone handed me this, would you be proud to hold it or to take it around with you to show other people? Make sure that this basket or this bag is pre presentable because this is going to reflect your business and you want it all to look professional. Professional. Make sure you're printing stuff off. Make sure everything's nicely written. Um, that's I had that I added that because I've noticed some people when they do basket parties I've seen some and I'm like oh I don't know if I would have wanted to carry that around with me so make sure everything looks professional um let's see fundraisers fundraisers I know our girl on here just had one um uh, Mandy did she had one last month fundraisers are very tricky I am not I'm the first one to tell you I don't know a whole lot about fundraisers because there's so many different ways that you can do about do it I have done the research. I have watched YouTube videos. You can find there's so much information at your fingertips. You just have to figure out how you want to do it. You can donate your commissions. You can um, do a catalog uh, a sale. It depends. You, it's up to you and your host of who wants to do the fundraiser, it, it's between you guys. You guys have to set your standard on what you wanna do. Some people will do the 25% commissions, they'll donate all of that. Maybe um, they'll tell them if you get to $2,000 in sales, I'll give you 30% because we get that extra bump when we have a um, $2,000 month. So there's so many ways to do it. I will tell you, um, if you have any questions, 
um, reach out to me or me, reach out to me. And Amanda, she just had one. She did awesome. She had a very good month. She has gotten so many contacts from people who from all over trying to help the person that she did a fundraiser for. And I know at one point she felt a little overwhelmed because she had all these new faces, but now she has new faces. She is sending out thank yous to all those people. And hopefully because she's doing such great customer service that they'll be back. So fundraisers are another good way to do it. Just make sure that you read up on it in our success store you can get envelopes you can get fancy stuff in there for your fundraisers to make it look professional um so uh anyways yes Yvonne um you definitely can I have not personally done a fundraiser I have not just because I've always been so involved in events and other things and I've never taken the time to really just, hey, Christine, I've never taken the time to just do one. Um, so I definitely will help as much as I can. But I, honestly, I did a lot of my learning from just watching a few ladies on YouTube, because there's so many different ways that you can go about it. So I definitely reach out, I will help you with some ideas. Um, with boxes, scent bags, any of those. So I am gonna touch base on this a little bit just because this is something that has hands down changed my business. Um, I do scent bags and I did this, I started them last, this is a personal special with mine so you have to be careful on how you advertise it. I can't just do it publicly, I have to do it in my VIP, in a, secret, in a little message, but the word of the mouth gets around. Um, when I started mine two years ago, I started in June. Um, you'll hear me talk about J months a lot. J months are usually very slow for our Scentsy. Things have changed in the last couple months, so J months aren't really real J months anymore. But I started mine in June because I was just starting to grow. I had got my first teamy. I was worried about how I was going to get my 500 PRV. I um, am a planner and I needed something that I felt like I could make happen to I got to where I got PRV like sure PRV each month if I couldn't get anybody to host a party if I could not get anybody to um, order from me I knew that I would at least have the PRV from my bag so with that being said how did I get it going? A lot of you guys tell me all the time that you can't get anybody interested. It You have to be intentional with it. You need to personally message some people, let them know that, hey, I'm starting something new. I realize that we have a lot of products that you guys may never have tried before. And yeah, okay, well, I'm glad you said that, Christine, because our girl, Christine here, I don't know how many conversations I had with her about joining buying Scentsy. Um, we've had plenty before she actually took the leap. It was because of my bags that she fell in love with our product and she ended up joining us. So a lot of you girls watching this um, or when you watch the replay are going to be like, I'm, I'm that Christina. I'm that person because a lot of you guys I have recruited from these scent bags. These scent bags are what completely changed my business and I highly recommend anybody struggling or just wanting to get more PRV, start the bags. I promise you, if you are consistent with it, you do not give up on it, it will grow. Okay, I promise you because there are times where I felt like, well, maybe it's not worth it to me. Maybe I shouldn't um, do these bags, but I stuck with it because I'm not a quitter. And let me tell you, my business has completely changed. I did 78 bags for the month of June, 78. That is what I put, put in at the very last day of the month so I can get them out to them in June, 78. That is $780 worth of PRV that I got extra just from doing these scent bags. So let that sink in. These bags can be something amazing, but you can't expect to post a flyer on Facebook and say, I have mystery bags, who wants one? People will not come to you because they don't understand it. So I'm going to tell you exactly how I got mine going. And I hope this helps people because this is something I'm very passionate about. My scent bags is something I truly believe in because I am introducing new products to people that they normally would never would have never bought. Um, one thing I did was I made the, this is my very first one I ever made. Um, I, I think I started in June. So this is advertising. It looks like fall. But anyways, I made these here. 
these scent bags here, um, I put on here, introducing scent bags. They're t this is a personal special, so that's why I did it this way to explain exactly how much they are because I can't advertise this in public. This is something that I mailed people. If they ordered from me, I slid this in their bag. I wanted them to see what this was all about, and I even have a picture showing a pile of my bags one month. It says $10 scent bags filled with Scentsy. Fun includes two full-size items. It can range anywhere from $10 to $16, depending on how many I sell. I put exclusive samples in there and um, anyways, reach out to me. So this is what I put in bags. This was to help get the word out. Um, so when I first started this, I promise you, I start off with like eight people. And I started with my friends and family closest to me. I reached out to my mom. I reached out to my grandma. Well, I could tell you right now, they didn't even buy them from me because they didn't understand what a mystery bag was. People don't understand that. So what I started doing is I talked to my friends that were around me. I got eight people on board. I was excited about that. It didn't get me to a qualifying party, but it was something and somewhere. I started somewhere. So I've got them in their hands. And what I started doing is... I did not pull one of those out, but I made other cards in my scent bag. I basically put raffle tickets in here. I started making it really fun. I got, if you've watched my trainings on there, I have raffle tickets in there. Um, basically, um, they can earn more by referrals. If they refer people to me, maybe two, bag, two people refer to me $5 off their next bag. I started a referral system. So people wanted to get five dollars off their bag so people started referring others to me um but the next month I maybe went up to 13 hey that is four more or five more or however more that was still more people than I had to begin with I did notice though my bags took a while to take off so those of you saying that you can't get anybody to do your bags it takes time I promise you it takes time and people will buy from you um, make them presentable, make them look professional, do all the things, make them fun, make them fun. I do a theme each month. Um, I do a, like a dollar store item in there. Last month I had, since it was May, I did May flowers. I had little paper flowers with little seeds in it. Basically they can plant them and it was just fun. It's something fun. It wasn't scentsy, but it was still fun. People like that. People like those raffle tickets. People get super excited about something so small. And all I do is just pull a, a, pull a, a name or a ticket out. And I just, I gift them a extra like samples or, or anything. It could be anything you want, but they get excited about the extra that they may get. And I'm just, I'm just gifting them more samples or whatever you want in there. Um, so my scent bags are definitely the way to go. Um, that's what's helped me. But I did get to where I wasn't getting very many. I went to like 13, then maybe 18, then to like 20. So I, I grew very slow. My bags did not take off until the fall because everybody loves fall. Everybody loves pumpkin. Everybody loves Christmas. So that's when my bags started taking off. But I started actually gifting. So what I mean by gifting is I ended up using my rewards and I had, I, I made up a bag and you want to know who my first two people that I gifted it to was my mom and my grandma, because after all that time, they still did not get one from me because they didn't understand it. And that's what I mean about, um, talking to people, um, maybe making sure they understand it. Cause when you make a post about a, a, a mystery a mystery bag people are like I don't I don't know the people will just keep on scrolling so you got to be intentional so I would mail I started for a couple months I would mail two of them and I gift them to people and and every month those two people who I gifted it to started becoming my new customers and they started getting them each month each month so there in my two years time me gifting them if I've gifted them I've only had maybe less than five that never got them again after that so that is a good idea to help get them started again it's never out of my pocket I always use my rewards that's the you the whole point on this is to grow okay um 
Let's see what else do I do with my bags. And if you guys have any questions as I'm going along, just shoot them. But I always try to make them cute. My, my girls tell me I always keep my price point at $10 because they tell me that it's affordable. If I were to go up on it, I would have more difficulty getting people on board. They tell me that it's like their little gift for each month. They look forward to them. And they can skip going to get a coffee or two a month and can afford it. Here's where the blessing came with my bags. I started trying to make sure that I put in these bags products that people normally don't buy, samples, things like that. So this past month, I did fragrance spray. I did take a chance. I did shimmer. Shimmer is not one of my favorite scents at all, but I hear a lot of good things about shimmer. A lot of people like shimmer. So I did shimmer and I got that into people's hands and I had a lot of good feedback from that. And even though it made me nervous because that's not something people bought, people bought it. Or if they did, wasn't crazy about having a fragrance spray, but they still got the scent of shimmer, they bought it in the laundry. They came back and bought it in pods. They came back and bought it in something else. One of my girls that is a complete, uh, she's a regular now, she took a chance. She didn't know anything about Scentsy. She happened to get it on one month that I did Amazon Rain. And she got her bag and she told me I never would have dreamed that that scent smelled like that by the name and I love it. She literally bought that scent and everything that we had. She bought a Scentsy Go just so she could have the pods. So I'm just saying these bags have been a blessing to my business because, and it did take time to launch off, but because of them getting these scents in their hands and maybe it's in a product that they don't normally care to have on a normal basis. They're still getting the scents in their hands and they're buying it in other products though that they do love. I can't stress to you enough, like people who do my bags literally become consultants because they love them so much. And I know Christine's right on here right now and she's telling you she loves her bags. She loved them and I got her hooked by doing these scent bags because people don't like venturing outside of their comfort zone of what they like. When I joined Scentsy, I thought the only thing that I liked was bakery smells. And I love so many other scents. I did. I would never would have dreamed that I would like clean scents. And I do. I love other products. So the whole reason why I started these is because I was trying to get the products in their hands. Um, this month, that the one that I just did with the 78 of them, I'm putting a brand new product in it. I'm nervous. I'm nervous as heck. I could I tell you that right now. I hope they like it. But it's something that I've never put in the bags before, and I'm hoping that they'll love it to where they'll start buying our laundry stuff. Because our laundry stuff does not get enough attention. Our laundry stuff is amazing. So I'm hoping that this will help. So scent bags, if you have any more questions, I do on our um, team page, I do have two or three trainings that I've did on them. I literally show you step by step what I did, how I mailed them, what I put in them, how I make it work with only doing a $10 price point. Um, because I feel everybody... It is time consuming, but it's so worth it because I have such great months with my PRV because of these bags, because people fall in love with these products. Um, so, so, um, another thing that I have written down, I want to talk to you about is, um, don't be afraid to ask people to host a party. Um, do not be afraid to ask people because when I first started, I was afraid to, okay, Let's, let's backtrack a little bit. I was an introvert. Um, I don't know. You guys probably would never even have guessed that because I come alive with you guys and I, I strike up conversations with um, people. But one of my teammates that's on this page right now, she's not on right now. I Before she joined me, which took me almost two years, so no's don't always stay no's forever. Remember that. No's do not always stay no's forever. I used to have her go up to people at work for me, strike up a conversation because I was so nervous to ask them if they would like to see a catalog. I was so nervous to ask them if they would be willing to smell some scents with me. Don't be afraid to, to do these things. Make sure you set yourself a goal every day. Set yourself a goal and talk to a stranger. When you go through a, strive, a, a Starbucks drive through talk to the lady. Hand her a scent circle Send, not this is a bar, but hand her a scent circle with a nice little saying, something about, you know, um, hope you have a wonderful day or something with your contact information in there. Don't be afraid to con to talk to strangers because I promise you it will benefit you in the long run. 
um, before I'm going to get off topic here, but another thing that like I do, and this is how I grow. Okay. We here last month or it's been two months now, I ended up having car trouble. I was with my son and this guy who works at this, um, place right up here. It's like a, you drive in, they do your oil and you drive out. It's like a five minute stop thing. And I know those are you local to me. You'll know what I'm talking about. But guys, I literally, our car broke down and um, he went above and beyond. I just thought, okay, we just need coolant. We need our oil change. It was my son's car. He probably just let it go. So anyways, long story short, this guy went above and beyond helping me. And I felt like it was in my heart to make sure that since he worked at a car place, when we left, he helped us and everything. I went back to this car place and I had him a little goodie bag. And I know this is a male and you guys are thinking, um, well, this is kind of crazy, but guys like Sensi too. I took him a fan. I took him a set of pods and I wrote him a thank you for him going above and beyond helping me in a time of need because he did not have to do the things that he did for me he didn't charge me anything and he helped me so little acts of kindness like that will go a long way okay so I gifted him some sensi of course my contact information's in there if he wants to reorder but little things like that that's how you grow that's how you don't have to do those things but those are things that I'm getting my name out there okay but don't be afraid to ask people because I promise you it won't kill you. You'll be fine and you're finally going to get people that say yes. Um, getting sales and PRV is completely up to you. It really, truly, and I say this with, the, with the, all the love in the world, it depends on how much effort you put into this. You can expect to post on Facebook and think that that's how you're going to get all your sales. You have to put more effort. If you treat this like a job, you will get paid like a job, I promise you. I went from having uh, this pay for me getting my nails done to getting my hair done, to, it, to paying for maybe my car payment to my mortgage payment. If you put the effort into this, you will get it that same effort back, I promise you, you just can't give up. If what you're doing now is not working, Try something different. There's so many things out there. There's so many resources. Chloe gives us so many different ideas and help. You get on YouTube. Look up bingo parties. Look up um, all those things. Guys, there's so many things that we can do on our VIPs, with our VIPs, to make for fun. That is so much fun. Um, and most importantly, Please don't compare yourself to others. Just because you see me shouting out somebody um, for hitting certified or promoting and you have not yet, please know that your time will be there. Everybody's story, everybody's journey is completely different. Just because you promoted so much faster than somebody else or vice versa, please don't let that be eat at you. Everybody's journey is completely different. But remember, it is completely up to you and the effort that you put into this. I promise you, if you do these things and you try new things and you push yourself to go outside of your circle and you do the scary things, I'm still doing the big scary things. I promise you, your business will change and will change for the better. I promise you. Um, I think that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever about anything that I talked about, there are so many different ways for you guys to get PRV this month. There are so many ways that you guys um, can do this or that. Be creative and remember, don't give up. Don't give up because I promise you there is a way. Everybody's thing is different. Maybe my thing is scent bags and your guys, you can't get it taken off. That's fine. Maybe Christine's way of doing events, maybe that's her thing. And maybe that's what how, what, how she's going to thrive. Or maybe somebody else, um, maybe their thing is bingo parties. And that's how they thrive. Everybody's different. Just because something that works for me doesn't mean that if it's not working for you, that doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. Everybody has their own thing. Um, fundraisers might be somebody's thing. It just depends on everybody's difference. So I don't want you guys comparing yourself with everybody else because it takes time. But remember, your success is in the amount of effort that you put into it. 
anyways, that's all I got for you. I hope this helps you. I hope this inspires you. Um, you can find some of these videos that I've done on the team page. If you go into the team page, there's a topics and click on it. You can, there's trainings, there's um, where I've gone over my scent bags. There's different things that I have in there um, tagged so you can find them easier. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.